Welcome to Mentor Mike's Real Time Video Trading Room for Monday, September 22nd, 2014. It's time once again to play Beat the Market. And it's about 6.25 a.m. Pacific Time, five minutes before the open of the New York Stock Exchange, and I am going to get long. I'll let you know what happens. The market closed Friday afternoon at 2003 even, and right now we're hovering around 1998, so considerably lower. But I think there's a good possibility, given the sort of bullish look of our all session chart, that we're going to close that gap. Uh, we might end up going lower, because I think that's more what the pattern looks like. I have it pegged as a 1 and 2 and we're going to go lower for three. But whenever we create a gap at the open of the day session, there's very frequently uh, a tendency of the market to want to close that gap. So that means this thing is going to go up before it goes down. And I'm hoping that the burst of volume and volatility that we get at the open will be enough to at least hit the first target. Uh, and maybe more. We'll see. Anyway, time will tell. Well, the price is within one tick of our initial target. It hasn't touched it yet. And we're just about 10 seconds away from the open of the day session. Oh, now we're touching the target. And you're going to see the gap on this chart. Oh, there we go. And the first target has been hit. Okay. We haven't moved the stop though. It was an attrition fill, so we'll do that manually. And I'll let you know what else happens. Well, we have a situation where we've got uh, some very mixed signals between our day session and all session charts. Here on the all session, you can see we look pretty bullish. We're above the trend definer. We've got a bullish alignment on the MACDs. But on the day session, it's just the opposite. And with respect to the pattern on the Elliott Wave, I trust the day session more than the all session. So I think it's going to be the case that this is a corrective wave before we go lower. Or it could be the end of a bullish pattern before we go lower. But I think that uh, this market is going to be bearish for the first part of the day. I will not be surprised if we get stopped out here. It looks like we're just about ready to be right there. Okay, we've got nothing but the bare minimum, and I'm going to go ahead and get short right now. And we've gone and hit that first target on the short side. So intuition was right on this. We filled the gap and then turned around and went down as I thought we might. Now let's see how much more we can get, if any. And this thing went down as I thought it would. We've hit both first and second targets now. I've got to take care of some business. So I'll let my auto trailing stop take care of protecting this trade in the meantime. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, we have been stopped down. Our score is 454.50. And uh, I have got to take care of some business. So I may miss the next trading opportunity, but we'll get to our grand today. I guarantee it. All right, let's get short again. Okay, we've uh, hit our first two targets on this trade as we approach the low of the day. We're also going to probably encounter some support there at the S2 level. Okay, we hit the third target, and our score is $1,088. Made it on two trades, 
we started at 6.31 and ended at about 7.53 Pacific Time. So once again, I have shown you folks that it is entirely possible to make over $1,000 a day trading the S&P E-mini. What are you waiting for? Sign up and become my student and learn how to do it properly. All right. We'll see you all next time. Take care.